What's going on guys? Nick Hellman here aka the Crypto Hitman and what do you know another day another green candle over on Pulse Chain and all of its native tokens. That is what we love to see. The OA wallet is in action. The God Whale is in action. Richard Hart is in action. Nick Hellman is in action. But all the big influencers, they're talking about Pulse Chain, but merely because it's popping up all over the screens, whether it's banter bubbles, the trading view squares, uh, coin market cap, coin gecko as the top gainers, and they say Pulse Chain and then they have to chuckle. Now, that just means they're laughing off this performance in Pulse Chain. They haven't yet made the move. They're not actually ser taking it serious, but I think that's all going to change very soon. Now let's take a deeper look into what is going on with Pulse Chain here. If you've been following me for a while, we've been bullish down at the lows, and we've also been saying that PulseX would be the outperformer, and that's why we rotated a lot of our PLS over to PulseX or other altcoins that we'll talk about later in the video. We do see up today 24 hours pul PLS, Pulse Chain up 17.3%, PulseX up 25.2%, INC up 51%, and HEX up 11%. The burn continues. 664 billion PulseX have been burned. That is 3.24% of that supply that will continue to grow folks that is like owning the casino why is this interesting all other dexes essentially they don't have this this buyback and burn mechanism they also to incentivize people to get into farms and a single side staking pool they give away that token well PulseX is different. They have a buyback and burn, and all of the tokens are in circulation. There'll be no more PulseX ever in existence. They're only going to continue to get burned away. This is why I believe that PulseX would continue to outperform, and I think it will continue to out be uh, outperformer until we get to the sack rate. Once we get to the sack rate, I will need to delve deeper. I will need to analyze what is going on uh, with the charts, with the chain. Maybe Richard Hart gives us a, a little hint. We'll see. But until then, I am keeping Pulse X heavier than my Pulse chain until this reaches 1.00. Okay? INC, if you followed me, Incentive Token, that is the name of it. The incentive token has the token economics of why a lot of DEX tokens dump. That is, to incentivize people to get into farms, to provide liquidity, to stake their tokens, you need to give something away. And what you're giving away in the Pulse Chain ecosystem is this INC token. Now, it is a little bit better because it is purely minted out thin air. There is no investors, there's no VCs, it is just being programmably inflated. Nice and slowly, programmably. So there isn't huge whales. From the beginning, when we were farming, I said let's farm with PLS and PLSX. When we get about to a 4 to 1 to a 3 to 1 ratio, let's farm and let's get that APR. As we get that APR in INC, let's dump that and compound it by adding PLS and PLSX to our farm. So we rode INC from a dollar all the way to 70, all the way down, but we were selling each and every day. Now finally, INC has found a bottom and is outperforming all of these assets that you see here. But I still believe that the move is to take these INC rewards and compound them into Pulse Chain and into Pulse X. Right now, I do believe that Pulse X will outperform. So 75% into Pulse X, 25% into Pulse Chain if you're just looking at a base layer and you're not doing too much with alts. Although INC performance has just started, let's look at the chart. If you've taken my philosophy, Yes, you've missed out on some outperformance, but remember, you're selling this on the daily anyways. You're capturing that outperformance based on the farming and the liquidity that you are providing. But look also where you were selling INC. You were selling INC at 21, at 22, at 30, at 40, at 60, at $80 per INC token. I don't care about this minor recent outperformance. Look where we were selling. Selling it at 55, selling it at 40, selling it at 30, selling it at 25, selling it at 20, selling it at 14. Selling those rewards and compounding them into PLS and into PLSX and adding those into farms has, or different altcoins. As you know, if you follow me, we've traded Teddy Bear, uh, PTGC, uh, PRS, and the list goes on. We'll talk about some of those in different videos. This hot performance is good, though. Why is it good? Because it juices these farms. You do notice that the farm APRs are rising a little bit on PulseX. APR for PLSX and Wrap Pulse is now near 11 percent this fell down as low as like six percent seven percent i believe the outperformance is helping that 
the higher the INC price in comparison to Pulse Chain and Pulse X, the higher these APRs are because, again, the reward token is a set inflation rate of this INC token. That is why we're seeing this slight increase in APRs across the board. What this does is just, it's like its name, right, incentivizes people to get into these farms, locking up their tokens, providing liquidity for the Pulse Chain network, and uh, letting the token economics take place that Richard Hart designed. The same will be in effect when pools launch. This will be single-sided staking of PulseX in order to earn other tokens. Will you be earning INC or is this uh, going to go like pancake swap where projects that want to get some spotlight will offer up a percentage of their um, total supply and create a pool on PulseX. You get that spotlight, you get that hype, you get people to learn about you, but you are inflating your token by rewarding those who stake their PulseX with your native token and those may or may not get dumped on the open market. Let's take a look at these charts. The outlook on these is still very good. You know, like I said, big influencers are still just chuckling at the performance of Pulse Chain. They really haven't made the move. They mentioned them in the video. I've, I've seen Ivan do it, um, Alcoin Daily. Uh, I can't even think of all the other names. They're like, oh, uh, Rand Nooner uh, with the crypto bubbles. Like, oh, look at this. Ha, ha, ha. Kind of chuckle it off. Uh, guys, you better start taking notice now if you want to get in early. And these influencers have not done so yet. So that is on them. Now, my only concern is the same concern that I have had. We are creating bearish divergence after bearish divergence. Price is going higher. RSI is creating lower low, lower highs. That is a bearish divergence. That is the only concern. Now, these things can't continue on longer. These The market can you know, outlast your liquidity, outlast your, your thesis um, when there's, what's the word? irrational buying and that's what the godwill is doing we saw this kind of price action go on with solana solana had their uh, yearly event thing was around 40 dollars insiders vcs market makers work to create this chart and pump that thing up to 100 dollars and leave a lot of people behind that is what is happening here also we did know that richard hart in my last video teased short sellers he's trying to bait them saying hey you want to short these things here's where you can short them that is one right here what happened we had a red bar it caught itself a new higher highs i hope those shorts got in early i hope they close the shorts otherwise you are going to get liquidated or you're going to have a to forcefully cover your short which does what sends price even higher just like i said in my last video everything i'm saying in these videos is becoming a reality guys take note been doing this in a long time now if if this didn't have the god whale oa richard hart buying this i'd probably be giving a sell here but i just can't do it um, because <laughs> the volume is staying high, the price continues to go through all of these levels. So now we want to see 01249 hold, but really the next up upside objective is uh, 1646 or in that area. We do realize that we're that our highs are staying very consistent. Look how smooth this line is. The God where the OA is looking at these charts and making them look perfect. This looks like a perfect short sell setup, right? Go short. Go short. You hate Richard Hart, everybody. Go short. And he is going to punish you. Sending it higher. This thing may come back down here. And again, as you get to see, you're going to see those shorts line up. Boom! Right in your face. You're either going to get liquidated or you're going to have to cover those shorts and propel that upside objectives to even higher heights. Now let's look at PulseX because I did say that I think PulseX is going to continue to outperform until we get to where? The sack rate. The sack rate now is about... 75 percent away last time we did a video you saw i moved it up we were 92 percent away and i said we will continue to work higher we are now what 15 percent higher than that but again bearish divergence look where this wicked to i had this blue line it wicked right through it it worked right to it got stopped at resistance got rejected but look where else it almost hit this uptrend line creating the bearish divergence with the price and the rsi volume staying high pulse x buyback and burn in effect we need to stay above this 4223 level. We can we can chop in here if you want, but the trajectory says higher. And next upside objective is 7,000 as we work and march towards that sack rate. Look at the volume. This is with your favorite influencer still chuckling at Pulse Chain. What happens when they get on board? What happens when they figure out the bridge is free? How easy it is? What happens when they figure out they got free ERC 20s that are actually starting to get a little liquidity on Pulse Chain? We're still a ways away. That got set back 
for sure, by the whales dumping that first pump we had, by the SEC rearing their ugly head, by Richard Hart going silent because he knew the SEC was going to come after him. But the actions of Richard Hart with the lawyers now, the actions of Richard Hart tweeting, the OA wallet buying, God whales buying, the price action, the volume, the active wallet addresses looking like it wants to go exponential down here, you can see. This is all pointing to a healthy Pulse Chain ecosystem that has good upside potential. And remember, this is the past 24 hours, right? When Bitcoin, Bitcoin is dumping. Took a lot of convince, uh, conviction from me not to want to sell Pulse Chain because we were looking for this. We were looking for a dump. We didn't chase here. We want a dump. Look at my levels. Look where it bounced. Uptrend line, support. First level of support. Downside objectives potentially lower. You do have a bullish divergence here. The Pulse Chain is doing this in the face of a weak Bitcoin. That's very impressive. Great community, guys. Keep up the good work. And we'll keep talking about Pulse Chain. If you know what altcoins I like on the Pulse Chain ecosystem, you might see some of them up here in the Dex Tools bar. They're all up triple digits, 40%, 100%, 200% from the buys that I gave over at patreon.com slash learn crypto. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you're seeing this. Pulse Chain's community is remaining strong, even though they went through that a hell of a bear market. Talk to you soon, guys.